Morris is the name, uplifting is our thing. Hug a tree, feel the breeze, we're having a good time. Not a stain on me, what you mean? We keep it clean on the scene, in the street, we're having a good time. No more to our lead, that's the foot as I can see. Follow me, that's the creed. Oceans, the faithful, the followers, blessed by the breeze. Conscious, choose peace. Don't fight the feeling. Love where it leads. A uh, quick message from our sponsor, Priceless the Don. Go listen and support this Morris music. The album's RGMM, which stands for Real Good Morris Music. And Morris, they're available on all online uh, music stores and platforms also available to stream uh, please please go support uh, this Moorish music and all these uplifting acts uh, subscribe to the YouTube page and uh, spread the word gratitude Moorish third and fourth generation an understanding of generational work to be done. Just my small measure of the gifts of the understanding provided for by the great God. Slime Morris students, classes in session. Pull out your Morris questionnaire, your Holy Quran, Constitution, Keys, the Hadiths, oral statements, all that. Let's get into this more study. Make sure you got your dictionaries with you. Savior of humanity. In this electrified age, men are racing into this life without complete knowledge of where they are going or what the end will be. When riches seem to be their only pursuit to be obtained anyway and at any cost when selfishness, avarice, greed, and lust dominate their very being, when humanity in general is left at the mercy of those who have no mercy in them, it is truly wonderful and astounding to see one come into this mad human drama for the sole purpose of saving humanity. Losing all sight on those things worldly and yielding absolutely to a cause higher than has ever yet been attained. This picture is the likeness of Prophet Noble Drew Ali who is serving humanity. Terms defined. Before we continue, we have to to have a basic understanding of certain terms for this lesson to make sense. One, generation. Two, work. And three, when the first generation starts. Generation defined. We as Moorish masterminds use 32 years uh, in each generation because this is the number of the human vertebrae and symbolic for the ascension to the higher plane once one enters the mind, generating thought and thus creation. Generation defined. Western New World Dictionary says that generation means the average period, about 30 years, between the birth of one generation and that of the next. A single stage or degree in the succession of natural descent, father, son, grandson. The act or process of bringing into being production origination.
generation defined. Black Law Dictionary 6th edition says that generation means either a degree of removal and computing descent or a single succession of living beings in natural descent. Average span of time between birth of parents and that of their living offspring. Group of people born and living contemporaneously. Work defined. Black's Law Dictionary 6th edition says that work means to exert oneself for a purpose, to put forth effort for the attainment of an object, to be engaged in the performance of a task, duty, or the like. The term covers all forms of physical or mental exertions or both combined for the attainment of some object other than recreation or amusement. Work defined. Webster New World Dictionary says that work means physical or mental effort exerted to do or make something. Purposeful activity. Labor. Toil. Employment at a job or in a position. Something one is making, doing, or acting upon, especially as part of one's occupation or duty, task. In this lesson, we will be only going through the first nine generations since we will be using numerology as a foundation for the understanding of the meaning of each generation. Generational starting date. In this study, I had to take into consideration that this start date could be either 1913 when the Prophet Noble Drew Ali brought the Moorish Science Temple on the manifest or 1928 when the Prophet Noble Drew Ali represented us as a people at the Pan American Conference. Whichever date you choose to cling to, this lesson should still clear up the work to be done in the generation uh, which you find yourself. And it should give uh, one clarity on how to prepare for the generations ahead. So with that understanding, we're going to start with the Moorish Science Temple. Its inception being 1913, that'll be the beginning of the first generation at 32 years, and we end up in 1945. Second generation, 1945 to 1977. Third generation, 1977 to 2009. Fourth generation, 2009. 2041, fifth generation 2041 to 2073, sixth generation 2073 to 2105, seventh generation 2105 to 2137, eighth generation 2137 to 2169, the ninth generation 2169 to 2201. Okay, here we're looking at uh, the generational dates uh, according to the start date of the Pan-American Conference where Noble Drew Ali represented us as a people as el Ha Sheikh Sharif Abdul Ali and the first generation is 1928 to 1960 
Second generation is 1960. Add those 32 years, you get 1992. Third generation, 1992 to 2024. The fourth generation, 2024 to 2056. Fifth generation, 2056 to 2088. Sixth generation, 2088 to 2120. Seventh generation, 2120 to 2152. Eighth generation, 2152 to 2184. And the ninth generation, 2184 to 2216. First generation, the generation of initiative, the generation of action and purpose. But the rewards will be reaped later. Bringing something fresh and new to assert our independence. Being ambitious and determined as an arrow, the Prophet Noble Drali led the charge. Planning, brainstorming, and bringing the ideal of Moorish America on the manifest. First generation. The primal force, beginning, original, leader, creation, is aggressive and will not let anything or one limit its potential. This one shape reflects the meaning upright with pride. So with this in mind, the Prophet Nova Ali brought seven divine acts to embody the newly created nation of Moorish America and each citizen thereof. First generation, the doer, a powerful force that produces results. It grows and transforms and improves endlessly. With a simple straightforward view, it doesn't waste time on anything not in line with its pursuits of results. This is the route that Prophet Nova Drali took to bring us a national thought pattern of self. With holy instructions and a scientific mind frame, he planted a seed. First generation. It doesn't matter if you choose to start your understanding of generational work with the inception of the Morris Science Temple or the Pan American Conference. The first generation starts with and is all about the Prophet Nova Drali, his divine work in uplifting us as a nation of people and bringing us back to the wisdom that God and man are one. Oral statements and prophecies. The Holy Prophet Noble Drali said, You are going to be saved, but in a conflict that can't be told in words. The Holy Prophet Noble Drali said, What you do not know can build another world. The Holy Prophet Noble Dr. Ali said, It will take 50 years to find out what I brought you. And if you're not careful, 50 years after I'm gone, you won't know that I've been there. Second generation, 1945 to 1977, or... 1960 to 1992. Second generation, the generation of peace and harmony, the generation seeking balance. This generation listens more than it talks. It is attentive and responsive to the needs of others. It plans and makes decisions after weighing the option 
and discussing it with their significant other. Some say it was a worshipful master that some Moors found to be their significant other during this generation. We know faithful Moors kept the law. Second generation. Outwits with grace and sensuality and gentle force of persuasion. Born psychologist often controls without notice or acknowledgement. Second generation is patient and knows the time will come. Uh, with the inborn sense of rhythm and music, second generation will defend love at any cost and loyalty is unshakable. Princess in behavior and requires a lot of attention the second generation. If you know any more from this generation, this should sound real familiar. The second generation, the all-knowing, gentle, and tactful, supportive, diplomatic, forgiving, servant, loyal. The shape of the two reflects its meaning. Kneeling and bowed over, the humble two will not break under pressure, but will bend and bounce back to form. Keeps the peace, resilient and lasting, emotional and demanding, sharing, cooperation, harmony, all describe this generation. The Prophet Noble Drew Ali asked the Moors to keep the doors open, and that's what the second generation of Moorish Americans did. Oral Statements and Prophecies the Holy Prophet Noble Drew Ali said, In the year 2000, the Moors will come into their own. The Holy Prophet Noble Drew Ali said that the third and fourth generation will see the good of my work. The Holy Prophet Noble Drew Ali said, There are going to be new Moors that are going to come in with their eyes wide open, seeing and knowing that are going to take you old moors, seat you in the back, and carry out my law. Third generation, 1977 to 2009, or 1992 to 2024. third generation, the generation of accomplishment, the generation of fun and adventure, the generation to make Moorish hip. This generation success comes from their optimism and enthusiastic feeling of confidence. Social activities, creative and expressive ways of being are necessary and the internet will aid in this. This generation will receive support from others willingly. Third generation, the creative child born talented, gifted, charismatic, speakers and extroverts. Discipline is the key for this generation. Third generation is in the right place at the right time because it is in tune with universal rhythm. Its duty is to the arts and verbal arts most importantly. This generation needs moral strength and spiritual depth to deal with the difficulties of expressing their more self in a world of what's normal over what's natural.
third generation, it takes a count of three to establish rhythm. A powerful need to express feelings and ideals, the third generation will find peace looking inward and gaining the wisdom of the one and two that created it to express itself. They must learn the lesson of taking the surface happiness in the small pebbles of the stream of their mind over that happiness that comes from the depth of each other. Third will experience the lowest depths of insecurity in a world of inconstancy. Those in this generation that conquer this will be uniquely qualified to guide others to the same goal. Third generation. The noble prophet Drew Ali said in order to change a people, you must change their literature. He said that I gave you something to shout about. He said when the pen is in your hand, you write your name and tell your story. It is up to the Moorish Americans of this generation to inspire through the arts a race pride that will fuel the nation in its growth. For love is the key, and seeing, hearing, and loving what comes from the self is essential. Oral Statements and Prophecies The Prophet Noble Drew Ali said, The same truth that will draw you, will drive you. The Prophet Noah Drew Ali said, I have detectives everywhere. He said that when I raise my floodgates, it's going to take 16 secretaries to write down the names. The Prophet Noah Drew Ali said, your nationality card is going to change in your pockets. Fourth Generation. 2009 to 2041 or 2024 to 2056. Fourth generation. The generation of routine. The generation to take things seriously. The generation that gives our nation order and stability. They will do the chores and keep their nose to the grindstone. They will conserve resources and sweat the small stuff. This is the admin generation of sending invoices and bookkeeping. The Prophet Noble Drew Ali said there was going to be a time when 16 secretaries would be needed and now we can see clearly what generation they are coming up out of. Fourth generation, the salt of the earth will fight tooth and nail for territory, believes in effort, control, and is goal-oriented. A good provider at the cost of discipline and loyalty. Moors in the vibration of this generation will make great priests, monks, and spiritual leaders because of the tight doctrine of spiritual law. They are great managers, organizers in business and government. Fourth generation, labor, strength, stability, trustworthy, patient, humble. Not the social generation, but the work and organizing generation will blend in and not want to draw attention to self dependable productive punctual and obedient conventional and traditionalist boring and non-social steady and persistent satisfied in accomplishments and favors results over financial reward 
or recognition. Physically healthy and strong, neat and clean. Not a visionary, but notices every detail. Fourth generation. Craftsman or skilled laborer. Good provider. Can't handle chaos. The fourth likes things in full control. Narrow-minded. The fourth needs religious structure to focus spiritual nature. Capable and has excellent memory and doesn't cut corners. Not creative or artistic but works good with hands. This generation is going to take the art from the third and manage it. The noble prophet Drew Ali said he was going to leave the European here long enough for us to learn how to run a government. The fourth generation must take the time to organize the Bali politic, learn the necessary diplomatic skills, also learn the skills of trade and commerce in order to unite our nation with the families of nations. Oral Statements and Prophecies The Holy Prophet Noble Drew Ali said, I have come for the children, the unborn generations. The Holy Prophet Noble Drew Ali said, Let your good deeds outnumber your bad deeds, and when you pass away, you won't have anything to worry about. The Holy Prophet Noble Drew Ali said, Every word that I speak is spirit. And you better heed. Fifth generation. 2041 to 2073. 2056 to 2088. Fifth generation. The generation of change, risk, freedom, adventure are the vibrations that activate the energy of this generation. This generation will attract lots of attention while looking for opportunity to express this need. Exposure, finance, and success will be the reward. Fifth generation, a dynamic force, dynamic and energetic always in motion and constantly in need of change this generation five is extremely independent in mind and soul an adventurer and risk taker change is an absolute necessity but this surprisingly loyal five cannot put up with anything predictable or repetitive careers that require travel to or otherwise offer a changing environment regularly our best salespeople, small business owners, and independent consultants and lawyers. Fifth generation can adjust quickly to pretty much anything coming their way. It's usually tall, good looking, charming, and charismatic. All qualities that support their career. Versatile, adaptable, smart, progressive. These social creatures are funny and intolerant, uplifting, and very good at making others feel comfortable around them. They are generally well liked with friends and acquaintances. However, they also tend to polarize people and those that don't like them tend to be uptight and self-righteous. Fifth generation. The Prophet Noble Drew Ali said that the things you don't know can build another world. This generation's job is to take that Moorish curiosity to the next level, exploring the world from a Moorish perspective. Show the world the beauty of the Moorish people 
in action, taking our products and wisdom to the four corners of the world to all nations. Sixth generation, 2073 to 2105, or 2088 to 2120. Sixth generation, the generation of abundance. This is the generation where our nation's focus is loving and is supported by everyone around her. This generation is the promise of bountiful things to come shortly, helped along by the universe. Their task is to rest, receive, attract, and allow. They should not seek excitement or start something new. This generation should seek to nurture existing relationships. Sixth generation, the caretaker, considered the most harmonious of the nine numbers, the generation of loving and caring, sacrifice, healing, protecting, and teaching others, the glue that keeps the family or community together. This generation will champion for justice and the poor, responsible, demanding, idealistic, and trusting a counselor or advisor and is graceful and warm generally liked and well respected sixth generation construction legal field law enforcement conventional and must learn to use their own mind prophet noble draw lee said that charity begins at home then spreads abroad. The sixth generation must continue to invest in the Moorish American family, its health, and its importance within the nation. Mental health is the next key issue during this time, healing the scars of division of the past, uniting of a grand body. Seventh generation, 2105 to 2137, or 2120 to 2152. Seventh generation, the generation of profound inner knowing. This generation is deeply connected to its intuition and psychic abilities maximized by its reviewing of the past and what already exists, new inspiration strikes. This generation's key is to remain open to new ideals and not hold on to anything. The energy is solitary. This is the generation of adepts who will cocoon our nation in self so we may come out ready to fly. Seventh generation, the seeker, the thinker, the searcher of truth. Doesn't take anything face value, tries to understand the underlying hidden truth. Somewhat introverted, shy, but not low self-esteem, easily picked out of the group not comfortable in social settings, intellectual dreamer with an offbeat perspective, metaphysical and interest in spiritual, not religious. Seventh generation. This generation's most important questions are, what's life about? Why we are here? Who am I? The seventh can be aloof, isn't about gossip and immune to small-minded backstabbing. Money means nothing, and the seventh generation will not make decisions based on financial outcome. During this time, the superficial 
takes a back seat to the eccentric, so the seventh doesn't care about sports and is not the warrior. They will be military analysts or strategic planners, even police detectives. All this at a time when the mind is the greatest tool and limitation because the spirit and heart must be used. Seventh generation. Prophet Noble Drew Ali said, I have come for the young and unborn. The children of the seventh generation will have cast off all the gods of Europe of which we knew nothing of. This indigo generation will advance the knowledge that God and man are one to all as they explore the doors that they now have access to, along with the keys they have to unlock them. The Holy Prophet Nova Draw Ali said, I'm going to repeat myself. The Holy Prophet Nova Draw Ali said, I have mended the broken wires and have connected them with the higher powers. The Holy Prophet Nova Draw Ali said, I brought you everything it takes to save a nation. Now take it and save yourselves. Eighth Generation 2137 to 2169 or 2152 to 2184. Eighth generation, the generation of manifestation. This is the generation of wealth and power, if the Moorish Americans have done their part. This is the generation of strength, success, expansiveness and problem solving. This should be the generation when the world will come under the rule of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Eighth generation, balance and power, career, business, finance, and authority. Its shape represents the karmic equalizer a force that easily creates and destroys what goes around comes around. It balances the material and spiritual worlds. The spiritual side is practical, realistic, and intelligent and knows the difference between make-believe and genuine spiritual realization. The material side is focused on results. They do not care about money but use money as the tool it is. Eighth generation takes risks and is generous. Fairs do not make them sorry, only stronger and more focused on success. Drive, ambition, efficiency, organization, management and discipline, good judgment, success, and prosperity all describe this generation, honest to a fault and forgiving, physically imposing and athletic, good at sports requiring strength and endurance, loving and carrying their weight but not too romantic. This is the eighth generation. Eighth generation. The Prophet Noble Draw Ali said one day we will wake up and the wheels of industry would be in our hands. The eighth generation is here to fulfill that promise. With the knowledge and technology led by divinity coming out of our nation, the L's and Bays will truly be at work creating and governing, supplying the world with what it needs, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Ninth generation, 2169 to 2201 or 2184 to 2216. Ninth generation, 
the generation of transformation. This is the generation that will have released our attachment to gods of Europe who we knew nothing of. This generation will release all those things thought to be important. They will let go of the past and feel love and compassion for our in former enemy. They will step into a space of profound wisdom. Ninth generation, global awareness, helpful, compassionate, aristocratic, sophisticated, charitable, Generous, humanitarian, cooperative, creative, self-sufficient, proud, and self-sacrificing. This is the nine generation, imposing and takes over anything multiplied by it. No other number has this quality. When you add it to any number, it remains itself. Nine is the flip of the six, so where six loves family, nine loves the world. A reservoir of giving with the downward spout symbolize the nine. Ninth generation lives in the world and understands the connection of all men. Non judgmental and most tolerant and most conscious. Floats above the small minded issues and demands respect. Impeccable taste is talented, creative, and eloquent in expression. The nine generation is about rectifying injustice and suffering. Will not dedicate time to receiving credit for actions. Does not force self upon others, but is a powerful force able to bend others to its will. Not a leader, but a transformer. Prosperous, hides heart, loyal, but not vulnerable. Ninth generation, more than meets the eye, depth, and intuition. Aware of surroundings at all times, denotes finality, completion of an era. These are the first nine generations of Morris. Americans work to be done. This has been a brief overview of what to do and what to expect from the vibration for the generation. From my measure of the understanding, there is plenty of work to be done for those who think their condition can be better in their Moorish American government. Follow the Prophet Noble Drew Ali to a destination not unknown or uncertain. Lace up your bootstraps and let's get to work. All praises to the great God of the universe and the highest honors to his prophet, Noble Drew Ali. Long live Moorish America. For more information on the Moorish Americans, you can go to website www.moorishamericangovernment.land or you can go to moorishamericangov.org. The new site is www.moorishamericangovernment.land. L A N D Moorish American Government dot L A N D That's W dot M O O R I S H A M E R I C A N G O V E R N M E N T dot L A N D
Other Morris Lessons by Dr. Kanshu Aba Mayake Rube. Understanding your Circle 7 Holy Quran on YouTube. Understanding your Morris Constitution and Bylaws also on YouTube. And also understanding your Morris Star. Go check these lessons out and get your Morris study up. Go listen and support Moorish music by Priceless to Don. Albums RGMM, Real Good Moorish Music, and the album Moorish. They can be found on any online music stores, Amazon, iTunes, Apple Music, CD Baby, Google Play. Anywhere they sell music online, you can find uh, these Moorish albums. Please go and support, watch the YouTube videos, and do all you can to support this uplifting music and industrious acts. So.